This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Atletico Madrid. They take on Borussia Dortmund, and the action is next on EA TV Live. And plenty of excitement around here in the Spanish capital. We're at the Estadio Metropolitano. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League semi-final first leg action coming right up for you. It's Atletico Madrid against Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top quality game between two of the best. His fans won't tire of seeing that again. Oblak with the save. <laughs> Royce taking this one. The clearance wasn't decisive. Royce into the penalty area and nodding it over well what a good cross that was he just couldn't keep it under the crossbar good effort though Molina well, given the recent form of Antoine Griezmann, a strong case can be made that he could be the difference maker, Stuart. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. And given away by Dortmund, Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. Oh, it's just over. So unlucky. Well, it's a cheeky attempt, but it just doesn't come down in time. Schlotterbeck. Rice. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Shown inside. Oh, he saved it well. Favoring the short one. Jaden Sancho. Reading it well. Still a chance. Allaire sends it back. Denied again. Who can he pick out? And it is a Dortmund corner. And played short. Sancho. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. position for Dortmund to be in a fine reading of the situation Saul fine movement from Morata really good block oh, that, he's in here and a goal Contest.
Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And what an emphatic strike it is from Sancho. Hit with his laces, it's a great goal. Well, there you have it. Simeone's team are really struggling here. Hermoso. It's with Saul. A very good tackle. And playing it through. Could be in here. And there it is! Two goals in a matter of minutes. Incredible stuff. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Koke. Molina. Koke with it. Griezmann maneuvering forward is Griezmann and Atletico get the advantage from the referee a corner will ensue well this has to be their way back into the game the crowd are certainly playing their part Played in by Griezmann. Cleared away comprehensively. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Could cross it in here. Oh, to trim back the lead. A goal! Just what they need! Still plenty of life in this match. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So on with the game, and that goal puts a very different complexion on it for Atletico. Ian Madsen. Schlotterbeck. Well, they're a bit like a passing machine, and you can understand why they want to play it that way in front as they are. Niklas Zule. Riosol. Emre Can. Madsen. Marcel Zabitza. Emre Can now. Sancho. Zabitza. And they deal with the threat this time. Niklas Zule. Kobel. Julian Riosson. Emre Chan has given it away. Marco Reus, Sancho! And the danger clear. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Too fussy in clearing his lines. Good ball over the top. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And they know they need to stop him. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. 
And that will do it for the first half here at the Estadio Metropolitano. Well, Alvaro Morata is a player greatly admired by coaches everywhere. A lot to like about his performance so far, Stuart. Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. Into the second half then, and it's going to be fascinating to see whether or not Atletico can turn this game on its head. Well, trailing, but this looks promising. Griezmann, superbly read and executed. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Oh, great piece of individual skill. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Atletico might fancy their chances from this position. Morata is up there. A deft clearance. Counter-attacking chance. Oh, yes, what a pass. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. And here's a change now for Atletico. Griezmann regained possession. And teammates around him. He's got to have a go here. Well, actually, pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end. And wasteful from Dortmund. Saul. Comfortable on the ball, moving it forward here, Atletico. Morata. Now with Morata. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. This could be troublesome. Allaire. Great opportunity. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. And Dortmund will go to the bench. a great piece of passing Griezmann that's a lovely ball Koke De Paul. It's an excellent looking attack, courtesy of Griezmann here. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. Royce. Can they take advantage of the situation? Marco Royce! Oh, it's in for Borussia Dortmund. It is going their way. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then from that sort of range, Royce was never going to miss. It's a well-worked goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? Simeone's got to do something. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Marco Royce. Savage. Koke. Juventus. Antoine Griezmann waiting. You don't want to give the ball away there. 
The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Chance to finish. Vigorous defending. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Llorente. Koke. Now with Saul. And fine goalkeeping. Remarkable save. Yes, again. Inspirational. Sancho. And there. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Yes, man. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. And a fine cross. Will it happen this time? Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Marcos Llorente. The supporters want to see him have a go. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Sebastián Allaire. Chances on. Can they cover up? Well, I think the threat has been averted. Hermoso. High pressing at its best. Rodrigo de Paul. On the ball, Morata. Chance to play it in. Opportunity here, and he's kept it out. Whipped in by Griezmann, and taking care of the situation. And the counter looks on here, options available. Will they profit from this situation? Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Molina. Rodrigo de Paul. And if you're wondering about that in time, two minutes it'll be. Now well, Molina. To pie. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. And so the contest is over, the first leg anyway. And so far, a story of Borussia Dortmund with the advantage going into the decisive match. Yeah, they controlled so much of the game. They got good service into the front players. They used the wide area as well. And their midfield players made some dynamic forward runs. They're certainly giving themselves a great chance of reaching the final now. Well, it's certainly true that Marco Weiss can give defenders nightmares in any match. And that is the case in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspired those around him.